Hey everyone, it's Ava, and yes, I just did the intro with my new mini-me because now that we've done the makeover on her, I'm actually obsessed with her. But anyways, today I thought it would just be fun to show you all of my Barbie doll purses and bags. Also, just ignore this thing on my hand. My cat like scratched me and like nicked this little thing and I tried to cover up with makeup and it just looks worse. Just ignore that. <laughs> but anyways, I have quite the collection of doll purses and bags and I feel like they don't really get the appreciation that they deserve because I don't really have that many opportunities to use them so today i'm going to show them all to you guys i'm not going in order according to how much i like these bags i'm just going to kind of group them in categories and talk a little bit about them as we go the first couple bags are from this etsy shop that i bought from a while ago but unfortunately i don't think they're open anymore i am really upset that the store closed because they did make adorable bags look at this one here the quality on this is absolutely amazing there's like these two little tassels in the front you can literally open it up oh and i actually did steal this from over here so maybe i should put that back there we go. Yet another purse from the same shop. Again, I'm so disappointed that they closed because they have the cutest purses. Look at this one. It has a little bow on the front and it does snap close. Oh, also, did you guys notice that I have short nails? I know it's, it looks weird. It's weird. It feels weird. It looks weird. I'm not a huge fan. They're definitely more convenient, but I am going to be growing them back out. Don't worry, <laughs> unless you like the short nails better, but I definitely like the long nails better, but I thought I should give my nails a bit of a break and just cut them down for once in like years. <laughs> Here's this little pink one again from the same place. I love the gold chain and I don't think this one can open or at least I've never figured out a way to open it. I'm sure if you actually got rid of this little piece holding it together, you could actually open it up on the inside, but I don't want to break anything. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it closed. And this is the last one from that shop. I also really like to film these kind of videos because these kind of videos are great for using my dolls that don't get seen enough. But back to the purse. This purse is probably my favorite from the shop. I absolutely love it. And before it did only just have the gold chain, but in the video where I recreated an outfit of my own, you can watch it over here, I added this pink strap up here. It is a bit of a different color from the purse, but I do like how it can now be a crossbody purse. They just stay on the dolls so much better. As for the actual purse part, it's just this beautiful pink color with this gold buckle, and it can indeed open up if I can just work, work it properly there we go and you can put stuff inside this purse is from a project mc square doll do you guys remember those the michaela McAllister doll with purple hair was actually my first articulated doll ever so they have a special place in my heart for sure i think this one is from the girl with the red hair i added on this little pom-pom charm myself several years ago and does have some velcro so that it can open and close as well this one is also a purse from a Project MC Square doll, and I'm not a huge fan because the strap is plastic. There are some purses that I own that I just won't be showing because they're just plasticky and I don't really care about them, so I'm not going to show them. I'm only really going to be showing the ones that I actually care about and use. Here's this little purse that definitely was not meant for dolls, but it kind of works. And I just think it is super cute. If I remember correctly, I got this in Mexico and it's just like this little beaded purse. And I feel like I've actually never used it on a doll or for any purpose. I'm only really going to be showing the ones that I actually care about and use. But it's just, it's cute and it holds a special place in my heart, okay? <laughs> this one, along with the next few ones I'm going to show you, are ones I made myself. I know. I know. This is pretty impressive, right? I absolutely love this purse. It's a little Gucci purse. It definitely has its imperfections, but I made it myself, so what can you expect? It's not gonna be perfect. However, I do just really like it. I like how there's this strap here and then the chain. And I really like how I got that texture on the purse and even like a little fake zipper on top. It's just a really cute purse. And I made this a long time ago and I'm still very proud of it. This one I don't like quite as much, but it still has some cool texture going on. And I did try to replicate the Chanel logo. I just didn't do it quite good <laughs> so it looks kind of off brand but it's still cute and i do still really like it this purse i made in a video where i had a whole bunch of valentine's day diy crafts and i still really like this little heart purse it's just really cute definitely perfect for valentine's day and i actually kind of like it with this dress too kind of matches the cherries and i did make it so i could also put stuff inside as well check out that video if you want it is well past valentine's day now but it is just a cute purse regardless here's this purse and i really like this one because it has this kind of like snake skin pattern on it Here's this purple one I made. This is the most recent purse that I've made, and I just really like the color of this one. Oh my gosh, here is this unicorn purse, which I like completely forgot existed. I made this such a long time ago. Definitely probably never gonna use this purse ever again, but I just thought I had to show it because 
it is really cute and it was just one of the first purses i think i ever made as you can probably tell here is this bag and this is actually really cute i really like this bag especially the little bow i added on the front except this material terrifies me because i've had very many traumatic experiences with this fabric it has stained so many of my dolls and i never knew where the stains were coming from and then i found out it was from this material that's why i'm going to take this off the doll right now before anything happens but the bag is cute for like a quick little photo shoot or whatever but yeah this fabric has done me dirty and has ruined many of my dolls so this little purse is very tiny and very adorable i actually made this one out of clay and i also put on the little chanel logo this one might look a little bit better i don't know either way i just really do like this purse okay all the next ones are going to be from etsy shops or just doll shops in general this one is a chanel purse the logo here definitely looks way better than the ones i made and i really like the strap on this one as well and there is a little magnet so that it can open and close Here's a pink one, and this time we have the Gucci logo on it. And again, the same little magnet to open and close it. This bag is absolutely gorgeous. It's this holographic material, and I don't use this one enough, along with all of my other purses, but this one especially is just so unique and pretty, and you can put things inside as well. Here's the purse with that same kind of holographic material, and this one says pink and has a little bow on it. And this one's actually from the doll tailor which if you guys don't already know if you use code delight on orders over 40 dollars you can get 25 percent off your order definitely check out the website if you haven't already link in description but they have some amazing doll clothes and accessories including this beautiful purse here is this huge adidas duffel bag it is quite large but it's such a cute like gym bag and it actually looks great with the guys as well but I just need to take a moment to show you the detail on this. It's actually incredible. First of all, the gold logo is beautiful. All of the stitching is so incredible. There is a working zipper. So you can put stuff inside. There's these shorter handles and a longer handle, which is adjustable. And the sides have these netted water bottle holders. The detail on this is absolutely crazy. If, here is this little black purse. It's black and sparkly. And if you just push out this little heart thing, piece here you can actually open up the purse as well here is this cute little tote bag i don't really have many tote bags at all for the dolls and they're just so cute i like the design on this one and of course you can put things inside and this bag is absolutely gorgeous i love the gold stitching and the gold charm here and here's actually my one other kind of like tote bag that i have this one's really cute it has the puma logo on it and this kind of white netting and it's in a very bright yellow color, so I haven't had an opportunity to, like, pair this with any sort of outfit or anything. But it is really cute and unique, for sure. Here's this cute little black handbag, and this is actually from the Barbie style doll. Usually, the Barbie brand doesn't actually make many purses that I like. But this one is absolutely adorable and can open up. Here's this tiny little purse. This is actually also from the Barbie brand, I believe. It's so old. This purse is so old. I way older than i am i've had it for such a long time it's kind of just been passed down so it's just kind of neat to have it but i don't actually know what i would really ever pair it with um but it is nice quality and can open up the next bags are from the zuru 5 surprise mini fashion line and some of them are a little bit big for the dolls but i feel like they still work i really like this leopard print one it definitely is quite large but it, it's just like it could just be a larger bag you know so i still think it works well i love the gold and i just love the great quality of these bags and they do indeed open up here is this green bag again just the detail and quality of these are actually amazing and all the stitching just looks extremely realistic here's this kind of off-brand louis vuitton looking bag but instead of LV, it's MF for mini fashion. And the last one here, and probably also my favorite, mainly because it's pink and I'm always just biased towards pink, <laughs> is this one here. I really like the material on this one and this little buckle on the top here as well. Now I'm going to show all of my backpacks. This one here is one I actually made, which I'm sure you can tell it's not the best of quality but it is still really cute and i actually do have a tutorial for how to make this i made that video a long time ago and it is a pretty cute backpack for sure just a little a little rough but you know what <laughs> i made it a while ago and i still like it and this one is the exact same backpack but in pink and gold i actually do like this one a bit better because because it's pink so of course <laughs> 
This backpack is actually from Fresh Dolls, and I just painted on the silver detailing, but I do actually really like this backpack. I'm usually not a big fan of the plasticky kind of stuff, but this one is actually pretty cute. Okay, I included this one not because I actually really necessarily like it or use it that much, but because I made it such a long time ago and it does hold like a special place in my heart. It's this little drawstring backpack. I think this must have been one of the like first doll bags I ever made and just one of the first things I ever made in general for the dolls. So, I don't know. It's still actually kind of cute. Like, I, I don't know. Actually, maybe it is kind of good. Okay, this backpack is my favorite ever. Oh, no, the belt has been exposed. It couldn't actually fit around her pants, so now you see that. But anyways, the backpack is amazing. This is so cute. It was very, it was quite expensive. It was like $60, I think. I got off Etsy, but it was worth every penny because look how amazing quality and how fantastic this looks. The little zipper does work. I'm just too scared to actually open and close it. But yeah, it's a little Louis Vuitton backpack and it's absolutely adorable. This backpack is from the Barbie band from Mattel. And again, usually don't like the plasticky things, but this one's actually really cute, especially because I did paint on all little details myself, the little gold and white details there, and added on this pom-pom, and I feel like it just kind of made it better. And then I'm gonna really quickly go through my fanny pack collection. This one is one I made myself, and I actually really do like this one. I've actually just gone like back into fanny packs recently. When I went on my Europe trip, I wore one every single day and I loved it. So I'm actually kind of like really liking them again. This one is from Mattel and I put it on her like crossbody style. And I really like how the fanny packs look this way as well. And then here are three other ones. This one I really like, but it doesn't really fit the Barbie dolls. It's for the Ken dolls. And these two I don't love, but I also don't hate. So yeah. I don't know, guys. These short nails are kind of growing on me. Like, I don't know. I actually kind of like them. <laughs> what do you guys think? And those were all of my Barbie doll purses and bags. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my entire collection. It was very fun for me to have an excuse to show them to you guys. I know this wasn't the most eventful video, but I'm still struggling to get caught up with all the schoolwork and everything I have to do. So it was the only video I could really have time to get out this week. Comment below and let me know which of the purses or bags is your favorite. I would love to know. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can become part of the hashtag DD Squad. And make sure to comment below with the hashtag DD Squad so I know you're part of this amazing community. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye!